a certain wide receiver, or I guess slash running back, because he played both last year, Debo Samuel, apparently was, he liked some kind of post or something like that. And he said like, uh, it was like, he if it wasn't 25 point mil or 25 mil per year, then he was going to want out. And I'm not entirely sure if that's what he's asking for, but like it, the the situation is he removed all of his posts on Instagram saying or like having anything to do with the 49ers. And it could be like some kind of negotiation tactic. It could be something else. He could just be messing around. But it happens. We don't really know. So he could be on the move. Mm-hmm. Yeah, for I think the removing the Instagram post that is a negotiating thing because he doesn't have much sway. He doesn't have much leverage. He has his play on the field, and he has what the media thinks of him, right? So if he's going to just remove, and then all he the has all the stuff, crapping crap he talks on Twitter all the time. <laughs> <laughs> yes, so I I have a feeling that Debo gets traded, and you you can look at the Beacons link. We have uh, U Stadium has some news. Uh, some nuggets from the draft, right? So that's part of this. Part of the draft is who could be traded. So Debo, I think there's a reasonable chance he gets traded, and two reasons. First, his value might be higher in a different offense. Second, his value is his value in San Francisco is unique to San Francisco. So when when Debo says, "I'm the most valuable. I I should be the number one paid non quarterback," that's valid outside of the San Francisco offense. Because honestly, the San, the San Francisco offense, that he he's like half receiver, half running back. His running back stuff is technically less valuable. Like he is technically less valuable than his receiver stuff because every route run, he's going to gain more yards than being in the backfield, right? So if you are, like he's going to average, what, he led the league in yards after the catch. He led the league in yards perception, right? So his route run might get three, four yards a game. Every route that he runs essentially gets three or four yards. Mm-hmm. Every run in the backfield, the 49ers are showing their hand and saying, okay, we're going to run the ball with Debo in all likelihood, which hurts your overall rushing efficiency when there is no will they run, will they pass sort of deal. So I think his and value would like, be higher just about anywhere else in the league. It's just it's just the thought that like he they rely so much on him too whenever they do run the ball because – my mind, obviously, as biased as it is, goes back to the AFC cha- or the NFC Championship game when the Rams were showing. I think it was Ashawn Robinson was the main guy who was helping to stop the run, and it was like once they realized how well the F- and efficiently they were shutting down Debo. Now you have to pass the ball, and they were in a position last year where they did not want to pass the ball with Jimmy Garoppolo in a clutch situation. Mm-hmm. So it's like. I don't know, though. It's like, who would be willing to, like, have a guy like that in their offense? I I think he's a fit anywhere. And I think we've seen the skill set that he – I think he can be a true number one receiver. He Is can. he as good as Cooper Cup or Jamar Chase or Justin Jefferson? Maybe no. not. But I think he can be a top ten receiver. And then you bring in the value as a punt returner, as a running back, that at least as, like, a change of pace guy – I don't want him to be my full-time running back. He can run between the tackles. He showed that. He can run outside the tackles. He showed that with San Francisco. He can throw a touchdown pass, which is what this I This is saw. true as well. So, um, so I, I think there's value, and I think he's more valuable elsewhere because running backs are inherently less valuable. So, yes, he does bring that versatile skill set. And, yes, I've even written about Devin DuVernay should be a – excuse me, should play running back. Or I like how – the Falcons and Patriots and other teams have used Cordell Patterson as a receiver turned running back, but that's a Patterson skill set, right? That's a Duvernay skill set because yeah, he depends on the player. Yeah, sure. neither of them are particularly great receivers. Debo can be a legitimate number one receiver. He is can get open. He is tremendous after the catch. And yeah, the the running game is a nice bells and whistles thing, but that's not what you're paying him for. You're paying him for his receiver stuff. So if anything, I feel like San Francisco is kind of artificially deflating their value because they know the running game is not as val- not quite as valuable as the passing game. And they're saying, well, if you are, I don't know, like a 1000 yard receiver and a 400 yard rusher, well, that is, those are more 
understandable numbers than if you're a 1600 yard receiver, right? If he had the same mm-hmm. number of, if you translate all of his like rush attempts into targets, that's a scary number of yards. He is like among the league leaders in receiving yards at that point. Let me, I'll look up the actual number, but it is kind of scary how didn't during he was he was like the uh, really big he was like a really big piece of the offense during their Super Bowl run a couple years ago. Yeah, and he so like he, he was can, the one or was it Sanders? He, he was either him or Sanders that was overthrown by Garoppolo. Okay, so I, I, I have the numbers here. So last year, Debo had 59 rushes that gained 365 yards, so over six yards to carry. Very, very efficient. The problem is every uh, every catch of his, 77 catches, went for 18.2 yards. That led the league. So he finished with 1,400 receiving yards and 365 rushing yards. If you translate those 59 rush attempts into targets – so he catches. I'm going to do some quick math for you. So the math San Francisco 49ers, yeah, the San Francisco 49ers have pulled the wool over your eyes. If he had those 59 rush attempts and those turned into receptions, he would. Or those turned into targets. So last year he got 63.6. So I have 59 rush attempts. Hopefully you can see that. He catches 63.6 percent. That gives him 37.5 extra catches. Multiply that by his receiving average of 18.2 yards per attempt. That's 682.9 yards. If you add that to his total of 1,405 yards, he smashes any receiving record known to man. I think we have some, I'm going to call it collusion. I think it's, I think the San Francisco 49ers have artificially hurt Debo Samuel's value because they are putting him in a less advantageous situation. Okay. I think they will trade him. I think whoever gets him will be getting a top five to top seven receiver in the NFL. I think he will be better outside of San Francisco, even without Kyle Shanahan. I, I know that's kind of dramatic to say, but I think Debo would be better in a different system because they put him in a compromising situation. Think about, uh, I don't know, like if you made Steph Curry only shoot twos, like, yeah, he's going to be good at it, but those aren't as efficient as three-point shots. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so I think I think a team needs to use him as wide receiver one because he can de- he like we've seen before he can definitely be that guy.